Good morning. Let's go through an important problem from alternating current that is analysis of the waveform. Here it is given a trapezoidal waveform and we are required to find the average value, RMS value and form factor of this waveform. I am using the integration method for doing this problem. First let's determine the average value of the given waveform. By analyzing the waveform it is clear that the waveform is having a peak value of 30. 20 volt and its time instants are shown in the x axis. Firstly, we have to determine the time period of this waveform. Firstly, we have to determine the time period of this waveform. So, time period. Time period T is a time taken for to complete one cycle, that is, one complete set of values. That is, time period can be determined from the zero instant. To the instant where the waveform starts to repeat itself so here that's from 0 to 60 so here the time period of the waveform is 60 seconds the waveform is 60 seconds then in order to determine the average value i have to compute the area of this complete trapezoid and then i have to divide it with the time period therefore to determine the average value we have the equation v average is equal to integral 0 to t e of t into dt or v of t into dt divided by t that is i have to determine the area of the trapezoidal waveform and then i have to divide it with the time period that is equal to integral 0 to 60 60 is the time limit so 0 to 60 v of t v of t into dt the whole divided by t will give me the average value of the waveform. Here the waveform consists of three sections. This is a triangular section, this is a rectangular section and this is again a triangular section. I am going to split this waveform into two equal halves. That is I am splitting this waveform into two equal parts. That is the middle portion of this waveform will be 30. And then I am analyzing the waveform from 0 to 30. That is V of T is equal to V of T is equal to from 0 to 10. V of T is a sloped line. We know that equation of a sloped line Y is equal to Mx plus C. Where M is a slope and C is the intercept on Y axis. Here the intercept on Y axis is 0. Therefore C is equal to 0. And the slope M is given by Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Here therefore here the slope is equal to. 20 minus 0 divided by 10 minus 0 together with the slope is equal to 2. Therefore, I can represent the equation of the line or the wave part of the waveform from 0 to 10 as y is equal to 2 into t that is slope into x axis coordinate. Therefore, the equation of the line is 2t. Therefore, I can represent v of t from 0 to 10 as 2t that is 2 into t with from 0 less than 10 less than or equal to 10 and from 10 to 30 the value of the waveform is 20 itself that is 20 from 10 less than t less than or equal to 30. So in order to determine the total area of the trapezoid I can I, I am dividing this two in trapezoid into two equal halves one rectangle and one rectangle and one triangle and then I am doubling the total area to get the total area of the waveform that is I am determining the total area as total area V of T integral 0 to 60 that is integral 0 to 60 V of T into DT is given by integral 0 to 10 2 times integral 0 to 10 2T into DT plus 2 times integral 10 to 20 sorry 10 to 30 20 into DT so I am squaring the total area from 0 to 30 to get the total area from 30 to 60. Let's integrate this that is 2 into 2t two square by 2 within the limit 0 to 10 plus 2 times 20t within the limits 10 to 30. This is the total area of the trapezoidal wave and average value is given by
dividing this value with the time period 60 that is this is equal to 1000 that is total area of the waveform this is equal to 1000 and therefore the average value is given by v average is equal to 1000 area of the squared waveform area of the waveform divided by 60 that is equal to 16.67 volt similarly we can determine the rms value from the equation we have v rms square is equal to 1 by t integral 0 to t v square of t into dt 1 by t integral 0 to t v square of t into dt that is equal to 2 times integral 0 to 30 that is 2 times we are splitting the area 2 times integral 0 to 30 v square of t into dt that is we have to determine the area of the squared waveform area of the v squared waveform that is 2 times integral 0 to 30 v square of dt the whole divided by 60 will give the value of v square rms and by computing this we will get the value of v square rms as v square rms is equal to root of sorry v rms is equal to root of 18666.67 divided by 60 and that is equivalent to 17.64 volt this is the value of VRMS. Therefore, this is the value of V average. This is the value of VRMS. And next, we have to determine the form factor of the waveform. We have to determine the form factor of the waveform. And from we have can we can write the form factor is equal to the ratio. Form factor is the ratio of VRMS divided by V average. And that is equal to 17.64 divided by 16.67. And that is equal to 1.06 so these are the three values we have written so this is the average value this is the rms value and this is the form factor of the waveform this is a simple problem similar problems are expected in k2 question paper so we have to clear clearly understand the idea behind solving these problems the two basic equations are v average is equal to integral 0 to t v of t into dt divided by time period and v square v rms square is equal to 1 by t integral 0 to t v square of t into t that is the area of the squared waveform divided by time period thank you